of Execute Authority. Remember this best. It's coming for you. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and thank you for all the well-wishing comments in yesterday's video. I appreciate it a ton. Today we are going to talk about some new skins coming in Season 12 for Apex Legends, a brand new shop rotation bundle special coming next Tuesday, along with a bunch of features that should be coming to the game just around the corner and what they are. I will also give out 43 bucks in today's video. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, I can see subscribers. But now, let's go ahead and talk about Apex. Let's go ahead and start off with the Lunar New Year sale, which is going to be starting on February 1st, and has a bunch of bundles coming in and what we know confirmed are the woad warrior wraith skin that will be there the royal huntsmaster bloodhound skin the mortal coil crypto it's not the pathfinder skin it is the crypto one the solaris horizon which will come with the solaris bundle and the warlord bonus bundle which should include this bangalore skin from the collection event now since respawn decided to change the security with their skins a little bit it's not 100 clear what these two bundles are the first one is the good fortune bundle but i do believe it's the fortune favors starter pack for loba and the going dark I would 100% believe is the lifeline skin from the aftermarket collection event. Some people don't like this skin saying it's just all too black. Personally, I think it's fire, but I'm always interested in your guys' opinion. Now this sale will last one week and then season 12 will start and we will have the anniversary collection event and we will have 24 unique items within that event. Now there are these epic skins, which you can see here, and they seem to be that you either get these weird green tinted skins, which I'm not personally a fan of, or you will get these shined out chrome ones and they will be coming for Ash, Horizon, Octane, Octane, Pathfinder, Rampart, Seer, and Wraith, along with some weapon skins. There will also be four different charms you can get, which are going to be for the Anniversary Cider, Anniversary Mirage, Anniversary Wolf, and an Anniversary Snow Globe, and there will be Legendary skins as well. They are for Bangalore, Gibraltar, Mirage, Valkyrie, and Watson. However, we don't have any looks at what they are quite yet. And there will be some Legendary weapon skins as well for the R301, the R99, the Vault, and the Wingman. Once again, with all these different skins coming into the store, I highly suspect this will be a collection event and therefore once you get all of these you will be able to get an heirloom most likely the shards so that you can pick out whatever heirloom you want just like last year's anniversary event now moving into season 12 there are a host of new features coming in and the first one is that the battle pass will be reworked we know that from shrug tall old panels have been removed and replaced with new ones that will change how the system works there's nothing confirming what it will be yet this is all speculation until they give us a formal announcement which could possibly be on monday when we get the next trailer we also know from that one apex bot that certain content creators have been invited to do a early playtest for the mobile version of Apex Legends. This will most likely be the early access that they do and then the content creators will make little itty bitty videos because there's no embargo on them, which means this will likely be releasing for the anniversary event on February 8th, maybe even sooner. And with the mobile release, they are getting a ton of features for the firing range that allow for infinite ammo for the weapons, along with having the firing range dummies actually actively fight back against you. This would be really nice for the main version of Apex Legends to add to it. Josh Medina has hinted that it is something that they are looking at especially because we can actually activate the firing range dummies to fight against us in the regular game you just have to do a bunch of tricks to make an easter egg activate so putting it into an in-game menu would be really helpful we're also aware of a number of data mined hop-ups that crawl rindo found such as the kinetic loader and the laser sight both of which could possibly be coming for season 12 which would add new ways to play the game the laser sight more likely than the kinetic loader simply due to the fact that we were even teased it in the trailer with the gentlemen that were working for the syndicate that had laser points on their R301. And of course, the most obvious gameplay change in Season 12 will be the addition of Mad Maggie, who a lot of people think will be overpowered, personal opinion here. I think she's very situational. She seems to be absolutely amazing at really annoying Watsons and Caustics who will be holding up in buildings, or anyone that's really trying to defend a position. I feel like in an open battlefield, she's not going to be as useful as people think she is. Let me know down in the comments below, do you want these features from mobile coming over to the regular game of Apex Legends? Do you plan on playing the mobile version, and were there any skins in this video that you really want to get. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.